No entry. If you want to check out the festival, go out front. What gives? You're letting him through. Well, that's because I'm festival staff. That's right. Authorized personnel only. Everyone else, move along. But it's urgent. Can't you do anything? Afraid not. Do you need a hand? You look like you're in a bind. I bet you want to get at that pedestal now, don't you? Yes. Alicia could be... They don't need to know that. I mean, if you could help me out, it'd really make my day. Sure thing, but we'll need some cash. Cash? Yep. Remember the guard back there? He's not averse to a little grease on his palm, if you know what I mean. We can get you through. How much? Let's see... I think 1,000 gold ought to cover it. I don't have enough. Hmm, well, got any valuables? Something worth money. Hope you're okay with this, Gramps. Whoa, this is one swanky-ass pipe. This is easily worth over a thousand gold. You should probably get it appraised first. Forget it. I just need your help right now. Well, all right. Works for me. I know you're in a hurry. Let's go. Well, shall we? Yeah! This is the guy. You good? All right then. I'll be taking your sword. Let's have it. Well, that was easy. By the way, that pipe you gave me is worth way more than a thousand gold, no question. Be sure to come and see me again when you're done. I want to give you a fair deal. I appreciate it. Well then, we gotta get back to work. Thanks so much. Huh. Hmm. We went through all that trouble and we can't see the pedestal. Is that what you're thinking? <laughs> well, sorta. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Being invisible has its benefits. Seriously? Hey, Saray, come over here. What is it? Saray? Alicia! Is that you, Saray? Welcome! And who may this be? This is Saray. Ah, yes. The one who rescued our princess way out there in the ruins. Saray, this is Lady Maltran. She's been appointed as the committee leader for the festival this year. She is also the one who taught me the way of the spear. Nice to meet you. I'm Saray. It is a pleasure. By any chance, did you come here to attempt the trial of the blade? Not just that. To tell you the truth. What this mysterious organization has told you is true. There are indeed those who think less than favorably of me. But even so, I cannot live my life in fear of them. But... but Alicia... Thank you so much, Saray. 
I really appreciate your concern. Soon, the finale of the festival, the Flames of Purification, will begin. Please enjoy yourselves. So this is what states people deal with. She didn't even flinch. Oh, that's right. Check out the pedestal. Oh, right. If no one else can see her, does that mean she's a seraph? You probably can't remove the sword unless you can speak with her, meaning no ordinary person can do it. Incredible! So that means the legends were true. Hey, say something to her. Me? Unless you want me looking like a total weirdo. But still... Ladies and gentlemen, my fellow citizens of Lady Lake. For the past several years, we have abstained from our beloved festival in light of the general state of the world. But this year, thanks to the grace and assistance of Our Lady Alicia, the Sacred Blade Festival can be held once more. We yet live in a time of crisis. Violent weather, geopolitical tensions, pestilence, famine, the list goes on. However, I believe that it is precisely times such as these that make our cultural traditions and celebrations all the more vital to maintain. Oh, wondrous Lady of the Lake, show us your power! Merciful Lady of the Lake, hear our plea. Cleanse us of our sins and woes with your flames of purification. Citizens of Lady Lake, this jubilant festival shall be as a prayer to the heavens that we may know peace and prosperity. Some prayer, all right. This prayer of yours gonna give us our jobs back? The Council already seized the crops and weaponry trades with the state. They might as well declare war and get it over with. Hey, lady! You trying to kill us? This ain't nothing but the Council giving itself a pat on the back. Well, we're not gonna stand for it. Find someone else to lick your boots. Silence! Do not disturb the festival. Enough! Ha! Serves you right! <laughs> this whole riot was a setup. Look at that guard! This must be the work of the Chancellor. I can't believe they'd involve the citizens they swore to protect in the power struggle. Were we really so corrupt? Alicia! Saray, get to safety! No! You mustn't give in to hostility! Such emotions will breed Hellions! <laughs> To a hellion. The evil in people's hearts gives rise to malevolence. And once it reaches a certain point. Lady of the Lake! Can you do something? You have the power of purification, do you not? A sail? And you can see me? Yeah. That's not good. Nick Leo, put those flames out! The black flames are part of the hellion itself. The most I can do is manage the regular ones. Okay. Saray, you really can see Seraphim, can't you? This isn't looking good. The Hellions are coming out of the woodwork. The power of purification is not my own. It is a power given to those who would draw the sacred blade and become my soul. Then I'll do it. Saray! Do not be hasty! To become my sword is to serve as a vessel for me to dwell in and to assume the shepherd's burden. 
blessed with the power of purification and abilities beyond human ken. Cursed to be scorned by others and wrought with despair. To protect this land from the Hellions means a constant stream of agonizing decisions. It is a lonely battle, the likes of which you can scarcely imagine. That's the burden of the Shepherd? And you want Saray to take all that on right here and now? It is not to be done lightly. May I ask you your name? Oh, of course. I am Lila. Lila. My dream is to investigate ancient ruins all over the world. I believe that the legends of the past hold knowledge about how humans and Seraphim might one day live in harmony together. I must find a way to make that happen. To bring humans and Seraphim together again, as it was in the days of yore. If purifying the Hellions will save both humans and Seraphim, then... And it's the best chance I'll ever have to make that dream a reality. Are you really okay with this? Soray. That's why I shall become the shepherd. I offer myself to you as your vessel and shall bear your burden. I've waited long for this moment. For one who is pure of heart and free of corruption. A shining vessel to whom my words will reach. you? Get back, Alicia. <laughs> hey! You'll be able to handle the Hellions, right? Yeah. Just take care of the rest of the flames. Shepherd now. Calm yourselves at once! Chancellor Bartlow. Lady Alicia, we received word that there was a civil disturbance among the commoners. Indeed. 
However, it has already been quelled. By the appearance of the Shepherd. The Shepherd, you say? Citizens of Lady Lake, I hereby announce that this year's Sacred Blade Festival has come to a close. You heard him! Clear out at once! Please don't hold up traffic! Keep moving! Milady, I should like to ask the cause of all this at a later time. Lady Maltran, your presence is also requested. The Shepherd of all things. <coughs> Now then, it is time for me to return to my place within you. Oh, yeah, I am the vessel after all. Now that's a creepy sight. What the... Saray? What's wrong? It's because I have entered his body. I'm afraid he'll have a high fever lasting about three full days. What? Why? Presumably the human body is reacting to the sudden presence of unknown powers inside of it. Those who make a pact with a Seraph usually wind up bedridden for a time. So that's what happens to one who becomes a vessel. I don't feel so good. Hey, are you alright? Not really. I think I'll take a nap for about three days. Saray! Well now, things are getting interesting. Hey. Well, well, good morning. Morning, you two. You okay? Better than before. Where is this? What happened to me afterward? You're at the inn in Lady Lake. Alicia graciously took care of the arrangements. You really were asleep for three days straight, you know? Was I? Now that Saray is awoken, why don't we all take a walk around town? I'm game. All right, let's go. He's finally awake. Thank goodness. Oh my, he's younger than I thought. It's the shepherd. Literally an overnight celebrity. Indeed he is. You must be hungry, kind shepherd. I'll fix you up something at once. Thank you, sir. But I'm actually stepping out for a bit. Oh, really? Well, then I'll get it ready for when you come back. Don't worry about the bill. It's the least I can do for the shepherd. Really? Thank you so much. I'll be back in a little while. There's almost no one out. I guess it's still pretty early in the morning. Ugh. You all right? Ugh. I just felt strange all of a sudden. Like a weird pressure was crushing down on my chest. What? You can sense it already? What you're feeling is the malevolence all around us. Now that you've become my vessel, you can sense it. This is proof that your body has already grown accustomed to my power. You don't say. You mean there's really that much malevolence out there, even beyond the city? Indeed. And this is only a taste. As people start to crowd the streets, you'll feel it even more. Come this way.
man, what a gorgeous lake! It truly is. But amidst the spectacular scenery, the town of Lady Lake is being corrupted by malevolence. Yeah, now that I can sense it, I can feel the corruption everywhere. We can't let this go on. It isn't just happening here in Lady Lake either. It's eating away at the entire world. The scenery may be splendid, but you can feel that this place lacks the blessing of the Seraphim, can you not? Yeah. In Elysia, I could always feel Gramps' blessing. But here, nothing. But Lila, this little walk of yours isn't just to reconfirm the situation in Lady Lake with us, is it? You've got something to tell us. Yes, I touched on it before, but now I must clarify to you. The true purpose of the Shepherd. The Shepherds can quell the Hellions, beings who bring chaos to humans and Seraphim alike, with the power of purification. That is the power of the Shepherd. However, that in and of itself is not the Shepherd's duty. What the Shepherd must quell is the source of all malevolence, the being who gives rise to the Hellions. The Lord of Calamity. The, the Lord, Lord of, of Calamity? Calamity? Yes. This figure has been known by this name for countless centuries. Whenever Hellions run rampant, this figure is always there. A Lord of Calamity, who begets Hellions with the overwhelming amount of malevolence he possesses. Given enough time, a Lord of Calamity can even permanently alter the world itself. Such is the Calamity he brings. Wait! If I remember correctly, the Celestial Record said that a Shepherd hasn't appeared for the last 200 years. And 200 years ago, there are records that the world was overcome by an unprecedented Calamity. Could there be a connection? I understand. So, the Lord of Calamity is the source of all the malevolence, and it's the duty of the Shepherd to find and put a stop to him. That's all well and good, but where is this guy? For now, it is enough so long as you understand the duty of the Shepherd. Huh? The answers you seek are those you must discover for yourself, Saray. Answers of your own that you will not regret. Stay true to yourself. Forget not your duty, but be not a slave to it either. Answers of my own. And to that end, Saray. I know you want to ask about the effects the Lord of Calamity has on this world, and how Earth Dwellers and Seraphim go about their lives, but... I want you to discern these for yourself. It's true that I'm completely clueless when it comes to just about everything in the world. I want you to travel the world and discover all sorts of things. Only then can you take the answers you have found for yourself and make a stand against the Lord of Calamity. Hmm. It's not that tricky a concept. Pretty much boils down to, hey, Saray, let's take a trip around the world. Yes. Got it. Anyhow, can we start by investigating some food? Talk about calamity. I'm gonna pass out. Shall we head back to the inn? I don't want to have to carry our shepherd around. Sure. I don't think we've checked that monolith out yet. <laughs>